Hey there, this is Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas. It is March 9th, 2016. I got a new video for you. Uh, I, I think it's going to be pretty good. I'm going to do something different. Uh, what I got today is a, uh, a wall scanner. It, it looks like this. I'm going to show you. And, and what it allows me to do is it has a stud finder on it. Has a pipe finder for finding plumbing, or has another button, and I can find power, electrical power. We know I was shot uh, from ground floor level. A person under this house shot me. It's not my word that says that; it's the evidence that says that. I mean, that that's a proven fact. Uh, if I can even talk, the facts show that. So we know underground access is to this house. But what if it's more than just underground access? What if there's uh, maybe uh, space in there, underground space? A uh, hidden basement. What if it's a meth lab? What if uh, uh, this is where all the missing children are being hidden? You know, is under under this house. I don't know, but but uh, one thing is that I thought is is it, is I know that they're being stealing from me, and I've said that all along. I mean, this is about theft. They've been stealing my heating, my cooling. They're staying in the attic, breaking the pipes apart, and or they wouldn't be able to stay up there in the summer. The winter is too hot or cold. But what if? They uh, were taking my, my gas piping down underneath, and then they got free gas for life. Old buddy pays for it. Old disabled, crippled buddy that they disabled is paying for it, right? Or uh, or even connected to my power cables, took them below the concrete to their, you know, to their meth lab, or like I said, wh whatever they got under there, you know, may maybe that that's where they, you know, kidnap little children and rape and murder them, you know? We don't know that, but that that's a possibility because of the one story I told you about rape and murder. And so what I want to do is use the wall scanner and see if any power goes below the concrete. That should never happen. My power at this house comes over the top, comes in, all the power is above the concrete slab. So this wall scanner at the base of the floor, if it goes off, that's a good indicator that maybe they are coming inside the wall and rigged it and they're stealing electricity from me. Once again, oh buddy, oh disabled buddy's paying for it for life. So I'm going to show you how it works now. Okay, I'm here at the wall. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna let you see, and then I'm gonna press the power button here, and I'm gonna put it up against the wall, the scanner. Okay, and and I want to see if y'all can see. Okay, and I'm gonna slowly just move it across. There it is. And I expected that because I got a switch right here, you know. And so I had to move a little bit further. It is, and uh, and so that shows you we got a power line right there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is check at the base of the floor. Okay, here I am. I'm on the floor, and I'm just going to scan along the baseboards because we should never have old power down there at the baseboards, you know. And so here I'm just kind of moving along the wall, going, huh, huh, okay, let's look. And there it is. Looks like i got power right there. Isn't that interesting? I, you know, maybe it's a, an anomaly. I don't know, but it's a place to check, and one thing we know is is that there's underground access to this house. That's a that's a fact. And we also know we got some secret police that all we got to do is arrest them, and they probably tell us everything we want to know. And so I just want to show you this wall scanner. Uh, I haven't checked the whole house, but I might show you some more if I find it. See you later.